Hello everyone, it is Jesse from FPS Squared, and today I'm bringing you another episode of F-Cubed where I show you the latest and greatest free and fun Flash games. Uh, it's been a long time since the last episode, uh, like I think like July, I was looking at Wings of St. Nazarene, um, but there hasn't been a lot of free games until now. Uh, like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, something like that, Internet Archive, um, which, if you don't know who they are, they're basically just an online library. They catalog and archive pretty much everything that's ever been on the internet. Uh, it's a really good website. They're known for their um, Wayback Machine, where you can type in URLs and see what websites looked like years ago. But anyway, about a week ago, they put up, as part of their software library, Microsoft DOS Games. And they put up about 2,000 of them. As you can see, 2,296 of these games. And um, some of them are quite famous. You can see Oregon Trail, Prince of Persia, Oregon Trail Deluxe, 4D Prince of Persia, Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, these are not games that... Um, these are not, like, stupid games you've never heard of. These are games that have gone down as classics. Uh, and they put them up either available to stream or available to um, directly embed into your browser. Uh, but everything's playable in a browser. In fact, I don't even think you can download the stuff. You can play it in your browser, however. So um, let's just click on one. Let's click uh, the Oregon Trail. All right. So I, before we get started, I'm going to switch over to another scene. So we'll just get the game. And I do apologize for uh, the quality. This might be pretty, pretty terrible quality, but uh, we're doing our best here. Um, so you can see that this is all in my browser. I can just click to begin here. It's going to load up DOSBox, and um, we're going to go straight into the game. So you let it load. You just sit and let it load. And once it gets done, boom, just like that, we're playing Oregon Trail in our browser. I don't think you need. I don't even think you need flash for this. Let me see. Uh, no, I think uh, you can go flashless here. So anyway, let's play the Oregon Trail. Um, so I may travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon top ten, turn sound off, choose a management options, or end. So uh, I think I'm gonna travel the trail. Whoops. All right. Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, be a carpenter from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois, or find out the differences between these choices. Well, let's find out the differences. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points, and the banker earns the least. Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston. Okay. I want to be a banker because I want to be rich. So what is the first name of the wagon leader? Let's go, Jesse. What are the first names of the four other members of your party? It looks like we've got, let's see, a wife, a daughter, a baby, and a boy. So let's call the daughter Lisa. Let's call the boy Billy. Let's call the baby um, Harold Jr. <laughs> and let's call the wife um, Betty. Okay. And yes, the names are correct. It's 1848. You're jumping. Oh, wow. Look at that. You're is spelled wrong. <laughs> You're jumping off place for Oregon. Is Independence. No, it's not. I thought it was saying you are jumping off of something. I apologize. <laughs> you must decide which month to leave Independence. Uh, let's go June because that is my birth month. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You don't have sixteen. You have sixteen hundred dollars in cash. All right. Whatever you want. Okay. Team of oxen. Okay. Plenty of food, ammunition, spare parts. Uh, I'm not really going to get into this. Uh, you know, 
I might play a few more minutes, but I'm not really going to get into Oregon Trail because, um, well, this video is a short amount of time and I'd like to move on to other things. So let's go ahead and pick this and wrap it up. Um, let's put which item would I like to buy? Let's get food because you need food. Alright. Take 200 pounds. How many pounds of food do you want? My 20 cents a pound. I don't feel like counting that. Let's do 200. Okay. Um. Let's do clothing. Two sets of clothes per person. Each set is ten dollars. So I mean, fuck it. Let's go all out. Let's um. Let's see. There was one, two, three, four, five people. Let's get ten. Let's spend hundred dollars on that. Okay. Ammunition. <laughs> Ammunition. I've been playing too much GTA. Ammunition. Uh, ammunition boxes, 20 bullets. Each box costs $2. Uh, well, you need a rifle. I mean, any man in the unknown needs a rifle, so let's take uh, 50 boxes of this shit. Fuck it. We gotta kill some people, especially Indians. Um, two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge you 40 a yoke. Well, let's do three then. Alright, and finally, spare parts. Um, or a wagon wheel. $10 each. How many wagon wheels? Well, let's do four. Oh, you can only carry three. So three. Imagine two. Tongues, um, two. All right, so spent four hundred thirty dollars. I had sixteen hundred. Um, sure. You ready to start? Okay. Oh my! I like that they're playing the uh, Yankee Doodle theme for Independence. So that's where we're gonna stop with Oregon Trail. Uh, I could play that. For a little longer because i actually do like that as weird as that may sound but um let's go back I, i'm more interested in some other things here so let's say uh wolfenstein 3d that's one that i've actually played and actually enjoy quite a bit so let's go ahead and play it Again, these are all free to play in your browser. It's actually a really incredible thing that they've done, I think. And uh, they need to be commended. They somehow managed to embed uh, DOSBox into your browser and allow you to play any Microsoft DOS game out there, really. I mean, they've got 2,200 games. I mean, that's basically any game you can think of. Um, and, it has on, and they have it on here. It's really awesome. Um, you know, I enjoy Wolfenstein, and I appreciate what it is, but damn, this game is hard to control. Um, you know, I mean, very outdated in terms of controls. Uh, I think that a lot of you may get on here and have, like, nostalgic memories of these games, and you get on and you remember, um, just how much better games have gotten since then. Uh, it's actually crazy, uh, the controls that they expected us to use back then and the controls we actually used back then it's um it, it blows my mind so i'm going to change left to whoops not w to a i'm going to, I'm going to try to modernize the controls here a bit right d no actually left and d i want to be the arrow keys damn it I actually want that, that forward and backward. I want it to be A and S. Uh, strafe. So run, I'm going to make L shift instead. Open. So let's see. Q and S. Or W and S. Fire. 
Oh, I guess I'll have to make fire or something terrible. So I've tried to make these uh, a little better. I guess I'll have to make fire E, unfortunately. And we'll keep everything else the same. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm not sure how save games work on this. I don't know if there's an option to do that. You might have to um, play through an entire game. Uh, I'm not really sure, honestly. So here we are. We're playing Wolfenstein in our browser. Which is pretty fucking rad. I mean... Oh, health doesn't overcharge in this. Okay. Good to know. And as you can tell, I'm terrible. I don't feel like pressing Alt to strafe, so I just try to move with the left and right look. Um, and it ends up pretty badly for me, usually. I've not been able to get very far in this. What's up, buddy? Oh, God. Okay. That's actually better than I've been doing. I've been practicing Wolfenstein because I wanted to be a lot better at it when I actually made this video. And, um, as you can see, practice pays off. Look at this. Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. This is the dog. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Jesus. I think there was another dog in there, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, fuck. So, uh, yeah, I, you see, I still don't have the controls down for this. Um, very terrible. I tried to get on Doom and um, Duke Nukem 3D. I tried to get on Super Doom and Duke Nukem 3D, and they were not available. I don't know if it was because of copyright issues or, or what it was. It said that due to content of this game, those are not available. So it may be very possible that um, if you're watching this video in the future sometime uh, that this game or any of the games that I've played will not be available to you. And that's a bummer, but uh, unfortunately that is the way it goes sometimes. But for now, we've got some pretty awesome uh, DOS games to play. I'm going to try to complete the first level and then move on. There are three games I want to show you. This is the second. There's one more, one more game that I want to show you after this, so hopefully I won't be too much longer. Damn, I, I keep wanting to DNA to, uh, to strafe, and um, it's actually quite terrible. Okay, I'm getting shot at, aren't I? I guess not. this stuff do? Oh, it gives you more score. Okay. Sure. I'll steal from Nazis any day. Okay. And I keep pressing E to open doors for some reason. And it's space bar. stuff. Oh yeah. Again, press E instead of space. Oh, I thought those were enemies. Fuck. Damn! So my strategy is to just run up as close as I can to the, uh, to the Sprite man, to the Sprite Nazi, and shoot him right in the face, like so. Um, although I see that that's taking quite a toll on my health, but luckily I've got some legs to eat, some sort of meat. Oh, here's a health pack, nice. Can I shoot this? Just out of curiosity. I guess not. Fuck. So yeah, these are... So I guess this is where I came from? Now there's no map or anything, of course. Again, we're dealing with... Let's see, 92. This game's 
Holy shit, is this game... What is that? Is that 30 years? I can't count. No, that's 20. Alright. Yeah, 22 years. This game's 22 years old. Which is, uh... You know. Insane, I guess. I don't know, this game's older than me, so... Um, I can't seem to find... Oh, here we go. Assume that this is to the next level. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's Wolfenstein 3D. Obviously, a classic in the shooter genre. One of the uh, defining shooters. Um, let's see. All right, so I got one more game I wanted to show you guys, but I don't know if it's gonna be here. Uh, Metal Gear's on here, by the way. Uh, here's Doom 2D. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, I'm not going to play it, but I'll see if it works. Uh, real quick. Uh, it looks like it's going to work. Um, Brutal Doom did not work. I believe it's what it's called. It's not called Brutal Doom. I'm thinking of that new Doom. Um, but uh, yeah, Dooms. there's Dooms on here. Pole Position. That is a fucking great game. I actually really enjoy that game. Um, yeah, I can't find it. I was going to play the DOS version of Pac-Man. Let's see if I can find it. Or Miss Pac-Man, I mean. Which is actually a very... There it is. So, uh, let's play it real quick. Just very quickly. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to load. There it goes, maybe. That disc is promising. But, um, this is uh, actually quite glitchy. Uh, it seems like when you press um, down, it'll take you to the right or left. Alright, I'm ready, let's go. Uh, but it actually seems to be working. That was on the Mac. It was, it was glitching out. Oh, there it goes. So I'm pressing up right now, and it wants to take me... Uh, back right, which I know why it is. It's because I'm not at an opening when I do it. Um, but still, nonetheless, uh, I'm used to timing my movements in Pac-Man before I actually make them. Uh, so it can get kind of annoying. But, um, you know. And of course, if you want to play... Oh, shh. If you want to play an arcade version of Pac-Man, you can just go to Google and type Pac-Man. Pac-Man's not really that big of a deal that it's free. But, uh, you know, it's just a classic game, so I wanted to show it off. Um, of course, there's many other classics, like I said. Let's see if I can clear this level. I can't really think of anything that's better <laughs> about this version of Pac-Man, or Miss Pac-Man, honestly. Um, it seems to be a much, much worse uh, version of the game, but I just wanted to show it off. Come on, come on. Let's see if we can do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Bam! Alright, so there's Pac-Man. And... Alright. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, that is the software library... Or Microsoft DOS collection in the software library of archive.org. It's super awesome. It's incredible that they've done this. I remember hearing about this uh, a couple months ago and thinking that they would never get this done. And I actually cannot believe that they got it done uh at all much less just a few months after i heard about it um 
But if uh, if you've never experienced some of these games, I would definitely recommend getting on and um, just trying them out and showing or uh, and um, seeing where you know the roots of gaming are. And you know if you have played the games before, then of course you're going to want to get on and have a nice nostalgia trip. You know, go back to your childhood or something like that. Um, really cool. Uh, you can see Sim City. Indiana Jones, Lion King, I don't know about that. Soft Porn 2. Um, if you weren't sold on this site, you probably are now. Uh, because you get to play Soft Porn 2. Frogger. Of course, Pole Position, I've already said. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a Zelda game on here, which I never knew there was a DOS Zelda. I knew that there was that shitty... Um, what were those called? Those um, seed interactive CDs. I know. I knew that there was a like Zelda spinoff in those, but um, um, well, maybe Legend of Zelda got taken down too. I know that a lot of games have been taken down for some reason. Um, I was under the assumption that Archive had worked with the companies, but they may not have. Uh, and uh, the companies might be having fit about this but uh, nonetheless it's up there there's a link below you can check this out you can check out all these free games and uh, until next time uh, I'll see you guys later bye